Hello and welcome to this quick tutorial on how you find a provider with United Healthcare. Uh, we will start with medical plans. Uh, you would go to myuhc.com here at the very top. You're going to find if you if you already have a sign in, go ahead and do that. If you need to register as a new employee, you can do that there as well. I like to search anonymously and as a guest because it keeps me from having to do all those sign ins. So if you're looking for a medical doctor, Here's your link right there. Pharmacy, dentist, vision provider. We'll start with medical provider. Here we get to the page uh, that starts us on uh, the provider search. So are we looking for medical, doctor, specialist, hospital, lab, or behavioral, so mental health? Let's start with medical. Let's assume we're looking for a primary care physician. If you enroll in an HMO plan, you must select a primary care physician. So let's start with that process there. We're going to use all United Healthcare plans. Now is where we get into the part where we got to pay attention. There's a million different plans here. Scroll all the way to the bottom. If you are on one of the HMO plans, you are looking for signature value. This is the HMO plans. If you are on one of the PPO plans, you're looking for select plus. Again, HMO, PPO. Signature value means HMO, select plus means PPO. Let's start with the HMO. Now here we get to look at, again, do we wanna look at dental, pharmacy, medical, behavioral, vision, all that kind of stuff. Let's go medical, California. Now we're gonna look for the name of our HMO plan. All of these say signature value. The, the different names you're looking for is Advantage, Alliance, Harmony, or the signature value HMO. This is your full network HMO. If you have an HMO plan that just says signature value, this is your network. But a lot of the smaller networks or the more limited networks will have specific pet names like Harmony, Alliance, this is our alliance right here, alliance or advantage. Let's use the advantage HMO now. Let's say that's what we're going to go with. We can put in our zip code. We'll say 92101. Continue. Yes, continue. And from here, we can search by a specific provider. If I'm looking for uh, Kevin Smith or David Smith or Mark Smith, let's say that this is the provider I was looking for. I would select this person here. He's a pain management specialist. I can see where he's at, accepting all patients. Now, since he's a specialist, he does require a referral, okay? You can see on his accepted plans, he takes the Advantage HMO. Let's try to find a primary care physician. So we can search by categories. Um, we can search by people, so let's do that. Let's look for primary care, again, specialist medical groups, primary care, all primary care providers. This will give you the cast you the widest net here. And then you can search again for Smith. Let's see if Smith is in here, one of our Smiths. So here's Linda Smith, pediatrics, locations. Okay, there's our locations, accepted plans, Advantage HMO. Let's go back to the overview. When, you're, when you are enrolling either on a paper application or in an enrollment portal, it's going to ask you at some point for the primary care physician name and number. Here's your number right here. This is your provider ID number. So you go ahead and copy that and paste it into whatever you might need. If it's an electronic portal, if it's paper, you just write that number down. And you would also include the doctor's name. Okay, so that's how you would find a an HMO doctor. Again, we'll kind of go back here just a little bit, and we can see that we can search all of them. Maybe you want to just go with, okay, let's just search it by the five-star providers within 10 miles of my home, and then you can see all the different names. So if you are new to the area or you don't have a major preference, this is how you would go about finding a provider. Maybe you prefer a male, maybe you prefer a female. Um, and then you got to see these, these accepting existing patients only. So Howard Williams would not be a good choice for your primary care physician because he would not be in the network. Let's go back out and let's start over with PPO. So we're going to do all the same steps that we did before. 
Okay. I'm just going to keep going back, 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 continue. So here we are. We're going to do medical directory, all United Healthcare plans. We're looking for PPO plans. So remember that's called Select Plus. Here's your Select Plus. Here's your people, places, services, treatments, care by conditions, cost estimates. Let's say I need an oncologist. Oncologist. I'm in the PPO plan now. Remember, I do not need referrals. I do not need to go to my primary doctor first. If George Zorn is the preeminent specialist, I see he's got five stars with eight reviews. I can see his, his location and I can see where he's at, get directions, call his number. Once you are, when you are in a PPO plan, you can just call, give them your ID number, your group number, and set an appointment. So this is how you would find a PPO uh, provider there. Let's get out a little bit further and let's go back and let's do dental and vision. So we're back to our myuhc.com. We're looking for a dentist this time. You'll notice it kind of takes you to a different looking play page. So let's do, we're in California. And this is where you need to look at your benefit enrollment information to see which plan uh, you are currently enrolled in. So the PPO plan is going to be what a lot of people have with the uh, PPO dental plans. And then with the HMO plans, you're looking at this uh, DHMO right here. So let's do this. Let's go by location and let's just put our zip code. And I like to cast a little bit wider net to start. We'll just call it a general dentist is what we're looking for and we'll search. HMO dental plans are just like PPO dental plans in that you must choose a primary care doc dentist. And if you were to choose uh, this particular dentist, you would take this name here and here's the practice ID number. And this is what would go into the enrollment information so that you could elect this provider as your primary dentist. Last thing, let's look at vision. Vision, we click that button there. Again, we've got a little bit different looking landing pages. Let's just call it 92101 again. Okay and search. A little simpler, not as many different uh, places to trip you up. Uh, this, is, this is just a real quick search of providers. Uh, and again, lots of different options here. You can click and you can view and you can see more information on all of them. There is no primary care physician for vision plan. So once you see this information and you have a United Healthcare vision plan, this is how you would find that provider. Thank you so much for taking part in this quick tutorial. I appreciate you.